I want to apologize to Nathan Gravite for this shootout win by the Vancouver Canucks. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not actually the most prominent story of this game. That belongs to something that didn't even count. Because the Vancouver Canucks, this was a 3-2 shootout win. We got ourselves two goals from Tim Schaller, of all people, and one goal that should probably have counted, but it didn't. Elias Pettersson came in here on a penalty shot, and it was a really fluently awarded penalty shot because Klingberg, he was all up in Pedersen's grill, like shoving him, pulling him back, and the referee called the penalty shot, and so Pedersen came in, and he approached Kudobin, but then Kudobin poked it away, but it wasn't a normal poke. He extended the stick out, and he let go, and it was a very obvious throwing-looking motion out there. And everybody was like, what the heck, that was a throw. That's an automatic goal, right? But the referees didn't see it that way. The league didn't see it that way. They said that he might have accidentally dropped it. And in my opinion, that is absolutely atrocious. How that is not a reviewable play. How the league can look at that and say, yeah, he probably just dropped it. Like, there's no ill intent on that play. He wasn't doing that intentionally, right? Canucks Twitter was set ablaze, and everybody had their own little thing to say about it, but basically everyone had the same thing to say. Yeah, he threw it. Yeah, that should have been a goal. Why the heck is the league so inconsistent? Now, we know Ovechkin had the same thing happen to him against the New York Rangers like a week ago, and that was ruled an automatic shootout winning goal. And some people were saying, yeah, well, that was a shootout overtime scenario. This was just a penalty shot in regulation. That's why the league didn't step in to look at it. But John Garrett called the league up and they were like, yeah, he probably dropped it. He, he probably, probably dropped it. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's just, oh my goodness. The Vancouver Canucks won either way, which I don't know how I feel about that because, hey, Dallas, you know, they're in the playoff hunt too. I don't even want to say that we're in the playoff hunt, but Dallas is in the playoff hunt and they're closer to the playoffs than we are. They got themselves one point. The Canucks got two points. Ultimately, it's two Tim Schaller goals and a shootout that decides things here. Tim Schaller's first goal to kick things off a minute into the game. Really good plays, honestly. Like, he comes in here, he's in the lineup after Goldolbin got scratched. Everybody was memeing him online because they were like, yeah, okay, Tim Schaller's now going to come in here, get eight points. He's now going to come in here, get three goals because he's the guy that Travis Green has faith in, right? Well, he takes the puck here behind the net, steals it, cuts out to the near side, pulls it out, and he just whiffs it. It's a shot off the inside of Kudobin's hip, and it's in. And that was Schaller's first goal as a Canuck. He's been here the whole year, and he only has a goal now. And everybody on Twitter was like, yes, he got it. He got it. The meme is real. And then just a few minutes later, oh my goodness, Pedersen backhands it over into the slot and Schaller with another one-timer. 2-0 Vancouver. Schaller got himself a quick two goals and everybody was freaking out because, oh my goodness, the meme is really real. He honestly has a game tonight, and he, he capped himself off at that, but going forward, Jacob Markstrom was really good, the Canucks kind of started deteriorating a little bit towards the end of the third, Dallas ended up getting two goals, Jamie Benn, fantastic snipe, and former Canuck Taylor Fadoon, my goodness, he got himself a goal as well, hammered it home right through a big crowd of people, but this one went over to overtime, the Canucks in overtime were strong. And that was only because there was a power play. Every other time, they were kind of meh. But the power play Canucks, they held onto it for a long time. I would have liked to have seen more shots. I thought that they could have been much deadlier if they just tried a little bit harder. But the Canucks did hold onto it a little bit. They took their time. And Kudobin was forced to make some pretty good saves. I will admit, though, if that was any other team on that position, there probably would have been a goal within 30 seconds. Just saying. But... Ultimately, the Canucks string it out, they go over to the shootout, Pedersen's denied by the post, Besser's denied by shooting it up high, Kudobin makes a cool save on uh, Tanner Pearson, it was, yeah, and then Levo. It's Josh Levo who seals things up. That was really good. Right when he came in, I was like, yep, Levo's got a shot. He's legitimately got a 
shot, I'm literally meaning shot right here, and he comes in and he shoots it, that shot on display right there. And overall, the shootout was kind of sketchy for me because watching it, the first three guys that Dallas went through, Sagan, Radulov, and Ben, those are the three top dogs on that team when it comes to offensive capabilities and power and everything. Seeing them stop the way they were by Jacob Markstrom was really nice. Rupe Hints coming in here also, he was dangerous as well. But overall, the Vancouver Canucks win this one. It's 3-2, to two, and you could argue that it should have been 4-2. to two. Ah, <sighs> Pedersen, man. He got himself an assist, which was great. He ties Pavel Bure's rookie record, or excuse me, Pavel Bure and Ivan Halinka's rookie record for the Vancouver Canucks. Bure did it in a few more games, and Halinka did it in way more games, but Elias Pedersen, 60 points on the year, leads the team in points, assists, and goals. He's a total beast out there. He should have had another one. Seriously. Should have had another goal, in my opinion, and he didn't. That will obviously be looked at. I mean, I don't know if anything's going to be done about it, but I'm sure it's going to be looked at, because apparently the referee didn't see it. Something about him being behind the play or whatever, and the referees also deemed it as a somewhat unintentional throwing of the stick? I, I don't know. I'm not going to try to justify that because everyone kind of knows that it was a throw. <sighs> Pedersen, man, he should be at 61 points. He should be. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of your boys and that's Frozen 9 Gaming, and bye. <laughs>